This is Dudley Harris speaking, and we're going to just review refraction with the 4-Optar. The first thing to do is zero out the 4-Optar. So, set so zero in the sphere, zero in the cylinder, the same thing over there. And make sure that these levers are set in the out position because you're testing for distance. Then uh, you put the 4-Optar in front of the patient. Uh, you check the PD. By adjusting that, you can you look through here to make sure the two eyes are lined up. And you do the PD adjustment there. You do the leveling with this uh, knob here. And once you have the patient's eyes in the proper position, then uh, then you, and you adjust the head with this position with this knob here, the position of the head. And you can take a pen light and hold it right here and shine it that way, and then you can see where the eyes are. Sometimes it's hard to see. So I leave the room lights on for that adjustment. Then you turn the room lights off, but make sure that you have enough light so that you can see your dials. <clears throat> now, what you do is uh, you enter the auto refractor uh, results. So I'm going to say that the auto refraction said this patient was minus one, uh, minus one axis 180. And let's say the other eye was Plano. So the patient is in position, the auto refraction is dialed in. Now I want to make sure the patient can see the screen at the end of the room. So I say, can you see the letters at the end of the room? And, and you might put up, say, the, the, the big E or whatever. Put up the big E. Can you see the screen at the end of the room or the letter? And you don't say the big E because then they say, oh my God, I can't see the big E, I must be blind. So just say, can you see the screen at the end of the room? They say yes. Okay, so you're you're lined up. Okay, now you close the left eye, and we're going to refract the right eye. So the first thing you do is uh, put up the 2040 line. And let's say you have no reason to think that this patient is not normal. So you can uh, you, you you're going to refract off the 2040 line. Uh, if they can't see 2040, then you know that's something different. But let's assume this is a normal person. Because you have the 2040 line up there. And so you say, read those letters as best you can. And they say, FCBD4. You say, okay, that's good. Now, is it easier to read like this number one or this number two? And they say number two. And so you say, easier three or easier four? Or, and they say uh, three. So you go put it back to three. So then you say, is it easier to read number five or number six or about the same? You know that there, it's going to be about the same because the autorefractor is so accurate that this is about their right prescription. So that's, uh, so suggest to the patient that it might be about the same and this will, this will give them the idea, well, it's about the same. So don't force them to make a choice when it's so difficult at the end point they look about the same and the patient can't tell the difference, so suggest that they might be about the same. Okay, so let's say the patient likes that. Okay, so there you are with the sphere. Now we're going to do the cylinder. So we put the Jackson cross cylinder down and we always start by checking the axis of the cylinder first. So, so here is the axis that we've dialed in and so we put the cross cylinder down and we use, we use these dots and we straddle that line or another way of saying is line up the axis with the knurled rings here. Never touch this dial unless you have the Jackson cross cylinder in place. Always give the patient a choice with the cross cylinder. You never fine tune by just, hand, by just changing the cylinder with this dial. That is with like this or trying to fine tune it, that's a waste of time. Do not do that. Uh, because with a cross cylinder, it makes the difference between a quarter of a diopter here look like a half a diopter. So the patient has a much better ability to make that distinction. So again, never touch this knob unless the Jackson cross cylinder is in place. So now we're going to do the axis of the cylinder. So we have the axis is straddled by the dots. Okay, better one or better two. He says two. Okay, so two is this position right here. 
if the patient, if you said better one or better two, and the patient said better one, then put one back up. This is what the patient wants. Now then, you're always following the red. Okay, so here's your axis, there's the red, you're gonna go that way. So you turn the dial that way. Well, let's say five or 10 degrees. Okay, better three or better four. And if the patient doesn't answer, do it again. Three or four, or about the same. So let's say they say three. Okay, you put three and you go back this way. So now the patient's gone this way, now a little bit back. So now you know it's probably about the same. So this time you're really gonna suggest it. So say, say, say better five or better six or about the same. They say it's about the same. Okay, good, you've got the axis. Now you line up the dots with the axis. Okay, better three or better four. They say four. Okay, so this is what they wanted. It's red is on the axis line, so you want to add red or add minus. So you go, you give them another quarter of minus. So you say better five or better six. And they say uh, six. So they want another quarter of minus. Add another quarter of minus. Better seven or better eight. They say seven, so you want so that now they didn't want that actually. So you go back, you take off a quarter of minus because they wanted they wanted white, which is plus, and to go plus you take away a quarter of minus. Okay, now you're you know that you're about there. So you say better uh, one or better two or about the same. So this time they're going to say yeah, it's about the same. Okay, you are finished with the cylinder. Now then. You put up, uh, now you say uh, the 2040 line is up there, so just to check, you say read that line as best you can. So they say FCBD4, you say fine. So then they read that so quickly, then don't bother with the 2030 line, just go to 2025. Okay, uh, FCBD or P or whatever. Uh, uh, and then, so they read that line, now put up 2020. Okay, uh, whatever 2020. So they read 2020. Okay, OFLC3. No, that's the 2030. Uh, okay, so they read 2020. So they read 2020 with this prescription. Now, are you guaranteed that this is the correct prescription? No, you've got to do one more thing, and that is to see if they will take any more plus. So you add a half a diopter of plus, and you say, does that blur it just a little bit? And if they, and they, they'll say, usually, yes. Okay, so you take that out. Now you know that is the correct prescription. Now, if you say, does this blur it a little bit? You add a half a plus, and they say, no, that's still clear. Okay, give it to them. Now do that, add another half. Does that blur it a little bit? And this time they're gonna say, yes, that does blur it. So take that out. You always wanna give them as much plus power as you can. You crowd the plus. Now on the cylinder side, when you're working on the cylinder power, you always wanna give them as little power as you can because the stronger you make the cylinder add, and the harder it is to get used to the glasses. I mean, it's not a big deal because a quarter is not gonna make that much difference, but at least you wanna go in the direction of using less minus in the cylinder, and you wanna go in the direction of using the most plus in the sphere. Okay, now you are finished with that, with that right eye. It is done. Now we're gonna do this eye. Here they have, uh, now, oh, now what you do, now you go over and open this, uh, open the left eye, and then you close the right. Do it in that order so you don't leave them in the dark. Okay, so now you've got the left eye open and they have asked for Plano. So we're gonna do, is it, yeah, so you say, read that line as best you can, FCBD4. Okay, good. Is it easier like this number one or this number two? They say number two. Okay, so that means that's good so far. And, this, and you say, is it easier like this number three or this number four? And they say, uh, number four. Okay, so that's still Plano. So you're, you, you're finished with the sphere. But now then, you've got nothing in the cylinder. How can you check to see if they actually would like some cylinder? Well, here's the way. You dial in a half a diopter of cylinder. Now, Here's the one exception for doing something without the Jackson cross cylinder in there. You just can, you just start rotating the axis of the cylinder. And you say, now just watch those letters and I'm going to blur those letters a little bit. I want you to tell me when the letters seem to sharpen up. Just say stop when those letters get the sharpest. 
So you rotate it at about this rate and you say, just watch those letters and just tell me when it gets the sharpest. When it, just say stop when it gets the sharpest and they'll say stop. Okay, so 180. So that's, that's not a bad guess. The other eye was 180. So that's probably about right. Okay, now let's see if they actually want that. Okay, so we're going to check the axis of the cylinder. So we put down the Jackson cross cylinder. We straddle the axis with the dots. Okay, is it easier to read like this number one or this number two? And they say they're about the same. Okay, so the axis is correct. Now we're going to check the power. So we're going to line up the dots along the axis that we have dialed in. Okay, better one or better two? They say one. So you set it to what they liked. They wanted this, which is white, which is plus. So you take out a, half, take out a quarter. Okay, I mean, you, you take out a quarter of minus power. All right, better, is it better or easier to read like this number three or this number four? And they say three. Okay, so again, they wanted no less power, so you take out a half, you take out a quarter of cylinder. Now you've got Plano again. Okay, so now you're confident that they really don't need any cylinder. So you take the Jackson cross cylinder out, Plano, so Plano, and okay, so now then you say read those letters as best you can, the FCBD4. So then you put up the 2025 line, okay, they read that line. You put up the 2020 line, they read that line. So now you say, does that blur it just a little bit? And you add a half a plus, and they say, yes, it blurs it. So you take that out. Okay, that is, that is the prescription. You're finished. Uh, and that is Plano. So that's just what they ask for, but that's how you check. You cannot assume that just because they can see 2020 with the auto refraction and it's Plano, that that's their prescription. You still have to check. You've got to check the sphere, and you can also check the cylinder just like I showed you just now. After you've gotten this, then you uh, then you you're you are finished, and you can take the four after away. You do not have to check both eyes together. You do not have to check for near. Uh, we are we are uh, theoretically we could check for near, and sometimes that may be appropriate. And I'm sure Dr. Edmundcheck would want to do that uh, occasionally. But for for me, I, I don't like to, to use that time because I don't think it's productive uh, because I think that the power of the ad is so clearly related to age and there's so few choices that uh, you're not going to be off. And anyway, you, so you write down what you think the ad ought to be. Dr. Erdmanchek's going to give you a, a sheet that will explain that, uh, how to do that. And uh, then the, it's the doctor's responsibility to look at the prescription and decide what ad that is that, they, that the doctor wants to give. So usually if a person is farsighted, you give a little more ad. If they're nearsighted, you give a little bit less. If they see 2020, you don't want to give anything greater than two and a quarter uh, because that gives them enough working, uh, working range and uh, that's enough ad to see up close uh, if they're 20, if they're 2020. Uh, even if they're uh, 65 or older. Now, if they're 70 or older, I probably would give two and a half uh, if they're 2020. If, if they're less than 2020, then I may go up to three. But when you get to say four add, then you're giving them such a short working distance that you better really think about that before you give them like a four. Okay.